I was um, training, trying to lose some weight. <laughs> and it, so the way I got into running, into running marathons and doing it for charity, um, is um, I wanted to get into running and I wanted to do a marathon. Well, my first goal was to do a half marathon. I wanted to get into running and to do a half marathon. Um, it, you know, that was a long distance. And so I found out about the Leukemia and the Lymphoma Society and realized that they had this endurance training program called Team and Training. And I thought, what better way than to take this and use it to benefit someone else? And so I did the first half marathon in Maui. You know, what a way to start. A great team and had a lot of fun. And I decided then that I wanted to do a marathon before I turned 40. Uh, again, it was more of a kind of a promotion run for our local chapter, um, but there was a new uh, marathon in town, which was the Mississippi Blues Marathon. It was going to be their first year, and we were going to do it as a promotional. And so I was like, okay, let's do a marathon. Uh, and I was going to be able to do it before I turned 40. So um, we promoted team and training. We had a team that year. Uh, I finished it. It was the craziest thing. It was cold. Um, but we had a great time, and uh, again, I was like, you know, I can do something with this. I can help raise money, help raise awareness. You know, the more that we can get out and we can talk about oncology and cancer and the needs of our patients, um, whether it be financial, whether it be supportive, uh, whether it be, you know, organizations or support offering to them, um, then we need to do that. Advocacy work, you know, whatever we can do to be a voice that, you know, to talk about what's going on and to share our stories, um, to bring awareness and, you know, promote advocacy and get others involved um, is what we need to do. It, it comes back and uh, benefits everybody.